right guys, this is exciting. We're putting the auger out because we've done some harvesting. We started on the canola up here at my place. We got the ag leader in, um, all calibrated to steady steer. So we've got auto steer. We've just set up the bin. Now me and Onion are going to empty out what we've collected. The first unload for the year is happening. All right guys, so you'll remember in a windrowing video that I put out recently, I talked about how our windrows got blown around from a big wind. Well, you'll be able to see there's some stuff blown out of the rows here, up there, over there. Um, yeah, and it's to the point where I've actually switched the auto steer off and I'm just driving by hand so that I can move over and pick up any stuff that's blown out or try to anyway um, but yeah what we're using here is a pickup front um, and its job is to pick up windrows crop that's already been cut and put into a row um, this machine just has belts on the front with fingers that pick the cropper and shoot it into the header and the header does its job and the grain gets into the box all right you'll be able to see there's some grass in the canola stubble here um, we're having trouble with the sample getting too much ryegrass seed in it um, well not trouble but there is a lot of ryegrass seed in it so um, hopefully we don't have any issues getting it into the silos all right, so this is canola seed. You can see it's just like small black hundreds and thousands. Yeah, looks pretty good, I reckon. The sample's cleaned up really nicely. I'm really happy with that. All right, we've been going for a while. We're up to 13.7 hectares. Um, but we're pulling up, we're stopping. As you'll see, this light that's on is the air conditioner light, meaning that the air conditioner is not working. So it is very, very hot in here. Um, we pushed on as long as we could, uh, but it's got to the point where it's unbearable. So we're gonna knock off and maybe I'll start again later on tonight.
paddock. It'll be good to have it all in the bin. First load of the year is about to go. There it goes. My first load of canola. Let's hope it makes it in. Alright, we started on another paddock. I brought the bin over and set it up. Just unloading. And then we'll continue on. The air conditioner is still not working. But, um, hopefully the fella comes today and fixes it. There he goes, the saviour. He came and fixed the air conditioner. And I am very, very, very thankful because it's a lot nicer temperature in here now. So, um, yeah. So if you need your aircon fixed, or any auto electrical work, uh, give Aaron a call. Um, I'll link his Facebook page down below. Great fella. Does great work, like fixing this air conditioner. Starting on a new paddock. Got that one all done. Brock's come back and picked up another load to take to the silos. So now we've got enough bin space to keep harvesting, well, as long as we want, really. Gee, there's farming things easy. We're sitting in the passenger seat. We've got young Onion here. He's having a drive. He's doing a good job. I think I'll need to clean my windows tomorrow. They're getting filthy. Sunset's pretty cool. There we go, turning off. That's enough for tonight. Finish off the last of my canola tomorrow. Then we'll move back down to Dad's and uh, get stuck into his canola. Right guys, we're back here at another at the header for another day. As you can see, there's some showers of rain floating around. I reckon they'll clear off pretty soon. We've actually had nothing here at the moment. You might be able to tell a bit crook. Anyway, it's all right. These things happen. We'll just open up all the panels. Um, we'll give the header a blow down and then grease it up and um, get stuck into the last of my canola before we go on to Dad's. Blown down. Um, oh, I've got a stick up the top there. Anyway, um, for anyone who doesn't know, the reason that we blow the header down every morning is um, because the dust that sits on the header 
dust and straw and stuff is quite flammable and if you blow it off each morning if you do happen to start a fire on the header there's not as much sitting on the header that can burn so it's just um i don't know just helps a little bit it also gives you a good look at the header to see if there's anything breaking down that you haven't noticed Wiping the dust off the windows, and the mirrors. We'll clean this window inside. That is dusty. for another day of harvesting um, yeah I cleaned the cab up because I've got a very special passenger coming on for a ride this morning so you'll see that very shortly but anyway we're just heading back to get into it these um, storm clouds seem to be uh, lingering around so I don't know how long We'll be able to keep harvesting for, but anyway, we'll make a start, and um, if we get stopped, we get stopped. So I've just started off, and it's telling me that there's a ro rotor fault. It's not spinning fast enough. Well, I can tell you, I can feel it spinning underneath me fast enough. Um, there's nothing wrong with the rotor. The sensor has gone bad. Luckily, Chell's picked up a new sensor while she was in Portertown yesterday. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do an up and a back, up, back, and then we're gonna stop and change the sensor because that beeping noise is really, really annoying. Here's the faulty sensor. We're gonna pull this one out and put the new one on. And they look about the same. Got to get our pliers and tighten it up. Oh, would you look at that! Fantastic! It's fixed it. That other sensor was the original sensor, so it's counted a lot of revolutions. Um, yeah, just worn out. It's time for a new one. So the first paddock I did, the rows were blown around quite a lot, like that over most of the paddock. This paddock isn't as bad, thankfully. Um, even though I'm coming into a bad patch, it seems to be more where a whirly wind or something has picked up the whole row and blown it away. Um, the first paddock had quite a bit of frost damage in it, um, and that's why I think it blew away, mostly, because it was a really light crop and there was not enough bulk to actually hold it down on the ground. Got that pump full unloaded, that bin's full, and uh, now I can see my very important passenger has arrived. Hey, you got your lunchbox? Bye mum. Bye. So Alex has cracked into her lunchbox already. <laughs> She's pretty happy. Harvesting our canola. It's a good day, isn't it? It's a good day. Yeah, go for it. Oh, you've stood your drinker bottle up. Good. Let's have a look in your lunchbox. 
what's in here? No, maybe we'll save that one for later. Put it back. You can choose something else though. Oh, smiley fence. Good choice. Got your little working boots on? Just like that? Give him a kiss. Good job. Another box full of canolas going out, Alex. On to our last few rows of canola for us. Then we'll be on to Dad's canola. Alex has got into her snacks. You're loving it, aren't you? Can you say yum? Yum. Our canola is nearly done, Alex. This is our first year growing canola, Chelsea and myself. And uh, Dad hasn't grown it for a fair while. But it's a really good year because the price is really high per ton. And it's grown well. So it's a great year to start out. I'm glad to say it's all been harvested now. Now we just got to move on to Dad's canola. The last of our canola getting all get into the bin. Then it will go to the silos where we'll be able to sell it. Off to Granny and Poppers now. We're just cruising along in Dad's canola. It's blowing around a little bit, just like mine had, which is a shame, but anyway, we're doing the best we can. There's a dumping big storm on the horizon. Lucky it's moving the other way. So we'll be able to keep harvesting, but anyway, got a bit done. Still going, still got a bit more to do. Right, morning guys, how are we going? So uh, last night, Dad took over from me. I had um, band practice at church, so I headed off to that. Um, we've got most of this paddock done, probably, I don't know, might be six hectares or something like that, two box fulls. Um, yeah, we're going to finish off the canola today and then we'll judge what the weather's going to do, whether we get into the barley or whether we pull up for the rest of the day, but anyway, we'll see how it goes.
Alright guys, we're on to our last row of canola for this year. It's going pretty good really. See out there, the box is nearly full. Hopefully we make it down to the end of this pass. Yeah, it's gone good. Our new pickup front has worked well. It's been really good. Um, it's been a bit of a challenge picking up the rows that have been blown around by the wind. But that's all right. Hopefully next year that won't happen. I've got some things I will change when I'm wind rowing, uh, especially lighter crops. That will make that happen less. I think I cut this off too low which meant that there wasn't enough stubble to hold the row down which meant it all blew away. Anyway, everything's a learning experience and it'll be better next year. There we go. Canola is done.